Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We start with this report claiming that Barca are looking for good and cheap pivot midfielder in the January transfer window. We are going to discuss more on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Pedri Gonzalez, our Spain manager Luis de la Fuente could exclude the Barca midfielder from the squad for the European qualifiers. We are also going to be discussing more on that story. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. After yet another tricky summer transfer window, during um, which they had to juggle financial fair play problems. Barcelona were able to strengthen the squad quite significantly, even if some operations were left until the deadline day. However, as we close in on the January window, it appears that Barca are looking to add more players to their roster. Given that the La Liga title race promises to be a close one, why the Catalans also intend to compete hard in the knockout stages of the Champions League. Vitor Roca's incorporation has been made the priority for the winter, although reports suggest that the club would need around 13 to 14 million euros in fair play margin to register him. So now though sports Tony Juan Marti is reporting that Barcelona are weighing up the possibility of signing a good and cheap pivot midfielder to reinforce the squad in the winter. If there are no casualties, the attack has enough players. Ferran Torres, Rafinha, Laminia Mal, Robert Lewandowski and Joao Felix. Ariel Romero on the other hand is the only natural pivot midfielder, although Ilkay Gundogan or Gavi could also play that role. This is why Barca are considering prioritizing the signing of Pivot over the arrival of Vitor Roja in January. The sporting department has already set to work to find a viable target, although much will depend on how the club generates fair play margin. It also must be remembered that the registration of Gavi's contract via non-judicial means is also on the plate for Barcelona. As iterated earlier, in order to register Vitor Roche, between 13 to 14 million euros in fair play is being needed. On the other hand, bringing in a pivot on loan or maybe as a low cost signing would have a much smaller impact on the financial fair play situation. Barcelona, though, would prefer a short term loan deal as they believe that signing a player in January who is seen to have a long-term future at the club, is complicated financially. Of course, Barcelona are in a position where they need to add a new defensive midfielder because the only natural DM or pivot right now that Xavi has in his disposal is Ori Romeo. And truth be told, it has not been as effective as Xavi could have hoped. And of course, it's what I expected. We need, a, a, I think, with all due respect to Romeo, a better, we need a better DM pivot midfielder. A club like Barca need a better pivot. And we have, we have, we have seen how Javi has been benching Aurea Romeo in recent year, in recent games, because Romeo has not been performing to the level that we all wanted. You know, so it doesn't come as a surprise that Barca would like to prioritize a new defensive midfielder in January um, before even going for Vitor Roque because we quite remember Vitor Roque uh, coming to Barca will be so complicated because they have been reporting that Barca will need to pay a certain amount of money to La Liga to ensure that there is space in that financial um, you know financial fair play margin for the club to incorporate Vitor Roque quite easily but as it stands right now Things look so complicated, you know, things look so complicated. So let's see how it goes for Barca. Let's see how it goes as this report 
emphasize that a good and cheap DM, you know, if it is good nowadays, you hardly see a good DM and it is, it, it is cheap. I think Barca needs to to think again. How can they get a good and a cheap DM? It's going to be quite difficult, but not not impossible, isn't it? So let's see how it goes. Ori Romero has not been the man. Let me be serious. He hasn't been the man. Yes, when he came to Barca preseason, then the first few games of the season. I mean, he came and shocked some fans out there. People were surprised, like, wow, we're seeing something from Romero. He's doing quite magnificent. But truth be told, it hasn't been quite the same. It hasn't. Romeo has been looking like an inexperienced man. Whenever on the pitch, especially during big, bigger opponents, we don't see the best of him. And it's quite disturbing. And of course, Barca needs to do it ASAP to balance the team up. Because we can't have, we can't have a 32-year-old guy and he's the only pivot. And I ask myself, why would Frankisi leave this club in the first place? I still don't understand why Charlie would choose Romeo over, over Frankisi. No club in the world would do that. Then on to the final story of discussion. After an absence of more than two months, of course, due to injury, Barca midfield superstar Pedri returned to action this past Saturday night in the one new win against Real Sociedad. The young Spanish prodigy has had a lot of injury problems in his short career at the highest level and as such, the Catalans did not take any risk with his recovery and only brought him back once the midfielder felt fully ready. Pedri came on as a substitute against Sociedad on Saturday and his introduction almost immediately added more spark to the team's gameplay. However, at the same time, there will be caution with his game time in the coming weeks given the amount of time he has been out with injury. As such, sports Judy Gio is reporting that Spain manager Luis de la Fuente is unlikely to call Pedri up for Spain's upcoming Euro 2024 qualifying fixtures against Cyprus and against Georgia. De la Fuente will announce a squad for the final international window of 2023 on Friday. Spain face Cyprus in Limassol on Thursday, 16th of November, while on Sunday they take on Georgia in Valladolid in their last two games of the Euro 2024 qualification campaign, in which they have already secured their ticket for the tournament. De La Fuente has still not been able to count on Pedri since he replaced Luis Enrique as manager of Spain. Injuries have prevented him from calling up a player he considers crucial to Spain's hopes for the European Championships in Germany next year. Pedri is now medically cleared, played minutes against Sociedad and is available to be called up. However, De La Fuente will take a cautious approach with the midfielder. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.